Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves, and today I'm back at home. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's been it's a couple days. Uh, it's been good to be back, uh, sleeping in my own bed. And uh, but I've I've thoroughly enjoyed the trip, and I had some great shaves over there. But for today, I'm not I'm not gonna be shaving. I already shaved last night, so uh, barely have any growth. But I'm gonna be going through a tag series. Uh, thank you to Melly Mel um, for the tag for the magnific Magnificent 11. Uh, but the number is going to change depending on each person. For me, it's going to be the magnific oh, <laughs> Magnificent 9. 9 DE erasers um, that I enjoy based on each category. I got, I got it down to 9 categories. So let's start with the first one. First one is style choice, and based on style alone, I picked this uh, Gillette Tech with a charcoal goods maze handle. I believe this is a level three maze handle. Um, I don't think it's made anymore, but it's got a wicked engravings in it. Kind of reminds me of like a bee honeycomb or something that like dwarves would made make, but it's just a regular Gillette Tech head. On this nice stylish handle. As for the second category, budget friendly choice, I have to go with this. I've used this uh, a lot the last two weeks. And this is the Maggard V3A head with a MR1 uh, razor handle. This one shaves really nicely. It's got good amount of blade feel to it. Efficient, um, pretty smooth, and only I think the head only costs like eight bucks. The handle maybe 12. Um, so you could probably get this for around 20 bucks. Very nice affordable option. It is Zamac, but it's not bad for the price. <clears throat> for the third one, underappreciated choice. And for that, I'm gonna be going with the Parker, what, what am I pronouncing it wrong? Parker Semi Slant. And this cat, it has a slight slant to it, but it's actually, it looks a bit more aggressive than it uh, looks. It says a semi slant, but when it, the blade feel is pretty high for me, but I still enjoy it. Uh, give me a second. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I have to take a phone call. But um, category was underappreciated choice. The Parker semi slant, excellent shaver. Uh, I do enjoy it a lot. And I don't see it a lot in uh, videos or SOTDs, so this one's uh, underappreciated, in my opinion. Next choice, premium choice, the fourth one, I have to go with the Sterling Razor. It's quite a pricey razor, but it's, I think it's justified with the packaging, with a nice leather case, uh, with the beautifully made crafted um, handle. And the way it shaves is really smooth for me. It's got a ton of blade feel. This is the uh, hyper uh, efficiency or hyper, hyper aggressive plate. I really love this razor. As soon as I got back home, I had to shave with this one because I just missed the the feel of it. So a premium razor. It's gonna be with the Sterling stainless steel. Next one up, sentimental choice, and that is the Gillette Slim Twist. Now this one. Uh, it was inspired by Paul H. Films. Uh, he has a white uh, Gillette Slim Twist that uh, he that his dad used, and that is a very sentimental choice for him. But this one is one of the earlier vintages that I picked up. It's super smooth. It's mild, uh, like a very easy shaver, and I just fell in love with vintages, um, starting with this razor. So excellent choice. These days I'm digging a bit more blade feel. So this one's not my favorite, but um, it was one of my uh, earlier loves for uh, vintage razors. So Gillette Slim Twist. Next one up, classic choice. And this one is going to be another vintage. This is the Gillette Old Type. It's got a weight and butcher handle on it. It's pretty old and there is some engravings on the bottom here of the plate. I don't know if you can see it, but it says property of US Army. So I think this is a 
uh, U.S. Army is issued safety razor. Shaves great. It's, um, it's got a good bit of blade feel on it, uh, even though it has this flat head profile. It's a great shaver. Um, I always enjoy it whenever I go back to this one. It's a classic choice for me. Next one up, a daily driver. And that's going to be the Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84. This one, uh, it doesn't feel that aggressive to me now. Uh, I think when I first tried it out, it was a bit on the aggressive side, but keep on uh, just a continual use of it and using other aggressive razors. Uh, this one feels medium aggression aggressive now. It's a great uh, daily driver for me. Very smooth, efficient. Um, it's not too efficient where um, it's not too efficient like the Sterling razor, but it does the job well. And I could buff a little bit with it without getting too much irritation. So Game Changer 0.84, one of my favorites. Next one up, Autopilot Razor. That is going to be the Rockwell 6C. This is a gunmetal finish. Uh, Rockwell 6C and 6S. These razors are so smooth, very comfortable to use. Um, and you can just go on an Autopilot with it. Um, there are so many people who love these razors, I know. There are some quality control um, once in a while, but I really enjoy using this one. I don't have the 6S, but I think I'm pretty satisfied with uh, the 6C here. And I use it on plate six. Uh, that's my favorite plate. I kind of don't, <laughs> I don't really use any other plates. So just the setting, this is my most enjoy enjoyable setting is the plate six. Last but not least, the aggressive choice, and that is going to be one of my first razors that I bought. <clears throat> this is a Fatip Piccolo razor. It's got this small handle with these uh, linings, but still pretty easy to grab. It's got some grip to it. Um, it's a little small at times, but I can still shave well with it. It's got these open combs, kind of rounded open combs, but um, it has a fair bit of blade feel and it gives for an efficient shave. So I still enjoy using this a lot. Uh, I'll probably go back to it in uh, a couple months, maybe next year. <laughs> I have, I do have quite a bit of rotation to go through for my razors and brushes and soaps, but whenever I feel like using uh, one that I like for that day, I'll grab it. So the tip, the tip piccolo, the last category, aggressive choice. So that is my magnificent, I still can't pronounce it, Magnificent Nine Razors. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what are some of your favorite razors based on the categories below. And I haven't, I haven't checked out a lot of the videos of people doing this. I know quite a bit of people did, uh, quite a bit of the shavers put out this video, but I've been kind of behind because of the trip. I haven't been able to watch videos in there, so I'm just going to leave it open uh, for now. Uh, if you guys want to, to uh, if you guys want to participate in this challenge, just comment below and consider yourself tagged. So that said, thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves now. See you guys next time. See you.